All right, so we've got mildly interesting, mildly infuriating, oddly satisfying, oddly terrifying, probably a whole bunch more I don't know, but we found a new one, oddly weird, Enter if you dare, it says over here on the right. So we're gonna check out the top 19 oddly weirdest things that have ever existed in the history of the universe. Starting off with number 19, the stone forest of Meliki region, Madagascar. The local name of this place is Tsingi, which translates to where one cannot walk barefoot. That's really cool. At the same time, how did they compress five words into one? Like that's, oddly specific. It's like an Eskimo native language. I guess there are like a zillion different words for snow based on varying kinds. So maybe it's the same situation here where there are lots of different types of terrain that need to be referred to. And so this gets the, you can't walk barefoot here. It's gonna hurt pretty badly, not recommended. Somebody tried it a while back, didn't end up well for them. So uh, heed the warning. Dude, that's gnarly. Look at that, that, that view right there, bottom left, is crazy. And then there's also actual trees mixed in with the whole thing. God, I wanna go there. It's pretty freaking cool. WTF, the short-eared dog is a rare and elusive canid from the Amazon rainforest. Why is it a what the fork? It's kinda cool. It looks like a weasel and a Tasmanian devil and a dog kind of all got together, mixed their DNA a bit, and then poof, out popped this thing. Wouldn't have guessed it was a dog if I saw it. I would have been like, that's that's some kind of weasel, probably. I like how it's on a leash though, is it domesticated? Does it kind of just hang out, it's chill? If you find a dog in the wild, is it easy to like re-domesticate it or would it take several generations again? Oddly weird, I'm trying this later. What actually is that? Is that a slinky? Is that a flying slinky? Are we on five minute crafts right now, except it's useful? Okay, so you folded a piece of paper. What, that's all you did? That's all you did and it made like a flapping paper airplane? It's so simple though. What the heck? That's really cool. That's like interesting as fork. I don't know if it's oddly weird but it just looks like a video game sprite. Like you put on an invisibility potion and your character's running down the stairs and this thing's chasing it along. It's like, ah, oh, you still need tool tips. You gotta get some help. I'll, I'll help you, I'll follow you around. Don't worry, I got you. Fantastic pit in Ellison Cave, Georgia, the deepest cave drop in the United States. What the heck? Ah, uh, I'm good. I saw that movie that one time. What was that horror movie where they're like in a cave and it gets all spooky and creepy and stuff? I'm, I was like, I don't enjoy the idea of ever actually going into a cave. And there's some like, I don't know to this day if it's kind of a creepy pasta made up story or if it's an actual true story, but there's like this freaking scary thing about p dude being trapped in a freaking cave. And it's not like supernatural, it's just like getting actually stuck in it. Obviously people have gotten stuck in caves before and you can't get back out from the way you came. And it's just, sounds terrible. Sounds terrible. That looks nice and wide open at the very least, but I don't know, there's something about being like inside the earth that's a little nerve wracking. A Venus flytrap catching a frog. Bro, you're just tempting fate there. Like why, you just went, you just walked right in. That's some natural selection at work right there. He's like, oh, what's this? Looks cool. Wow, it's real interesting and pink. It looks kind of like the inside of a mouth. I should walk into it. Now I wonder if the plant can actually digest that though. I wonder if the frog is a little bit too significant a meal for the plant to actually be able to do anything with. A frog could probably escape, I'm assuming, but it's like, Bro, come on, be smarter than that, okay? Patience is a virtue, especially if you're growing a fence. Is that actually? Wow, if that's natural, that is a whole lot of work. I wonder if there's a company that actually makes these and then they sell them pre-done, because that just seems like a tedious pain to actually 
freaking plant all the plants and then somehow guide them in the direction that they're supposed to go. And then the branches are like joining with each other. They've merged. How do they even do that? It's like one organism. That's wild. Coconut octopuses carry coconuts around to use as protection against predators. What? <laughs> That's, is it actually called a coconut octopus? This is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, it seems real inconvenient to just always be carrying around two halves of a coconut. How did he perfectly cut it in half? That's so impressive, dude. That's what I wanna see. I wanna see the process of how the octopus got to this, or does it just live near a place where humans dispose of coconuts that they've cracked for sale? And he just grabs it and is like, ah, oh, this is kind of a cool thing. I can just use this as a shield at a moment's notice. That's pretty dope though, dude. I bet it's suction cups like adhere to the inside of the shells, so it's like in there. When soldiers catch a new ride. Bro, this looks like something out of Avatar. This is, uh, this is behind the scenes from the trailer of Avatar 2 coming out Lord knows when. That's why- dude, these freaking caterpillars are gnarly. Look at the spines on those things. Oh my god. I wonder if those things are poisonous. They must be poisonous. Nothing has spines like that and is bright and colorful if it isn't trying to unalive you. Oh, wow. Okay, it's pretty cool. Creepy, a 300 meter hole found at Lower Ruth Glacier in Alaska covered only by a sheet of clear ice. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Seen this one before. Nope. Nope, nope. See, I just... Ugh, God. I, you, don't, mm. you don't know how thick the ice is. Does the ice go all the way down? Like, is it frozen all the way down? So that uh, I, I don't have to risk falling in there? Is it just a thin little thing on the top? And if you threw a rock on there, it's going to shatter the whole thing and then just... Woo! All the way down, never to be seen again. Can you imagine... Can you imagine the terror of falling into something like that and just knowing, like, that's it. It's all over. I don't think there's any actual way of recovering me. Yeah, it's not oddly weird. It's it's terrifying. It's straight up just terrifying. Dark holes into the ground that you can fall into and they keep going forever. Not into it. Morning yawn. <laughs> I love, I love these salamanders. I don't know, what what's their name again? God, I should know what their name is, but I love them, dude. I love the freaking tendril things, the feathery tendrils. They're great. The yawn is so cute. Why does it say nope? Why are you, would you really nope out if you saw that thing? I'd be like, you're so cute. You remind me a little bit of Baby Yoda, my son. Look at that. Yeah, they're cut. Yeah, yeah, you see where I'm coming from. There you see where I'm coming from. Oddly weird, the thinking man sculpture by Yuki Morita. That is, uh, that's a whole thing. This person probably has a hard time falling asleep at night, if I had to venture a guess. That's a lot of stuff on their mind. A lot of animals. Maybe they're veterinarian. They've been working on a lot of cases, and uh, they haven't gone super well today, and now they just have a bunch of raging animals going through their brain. Well, I hope you're able to fall asleep. That looks like a tormented existence. Ona Gadori is a Japanese breed of chicken with an exceptionally long tail. That is, in fact, a very long tail. That looks inconvenient. I feel like something could step on it. And I hope that they don't have, like, feeling in those long feathers, right? I guess it's probably mostly feathers with very little actual sensation beyond, like, up here. But it seems like it'd be inconvenient. You'd constantly just be, like, trying to walk as the chicken. And you'd be like, ah, cool, I'm stuck on something. Why the heck do I have to have this? This is unnecessary. Of what evolutionary purpose does his long ass tail have? These octopus kites are insane creepy. This looks like something out of like a really bad CG YouTube video. <laughs> it looks like someone who like is just kind of learning uh, 3D animation software and they went and downloaded like an octopus rig some, some, from some free model site and then they brought it in and they're learning like a dynamics tutorial and they just like well, they, they turned on wind or something like that and they're just like whoa dad look at the octopus let me just bring more of them into the scene yeah look at those tentacles flying all over the place then they render it out of course just against the sky backdrop and they're like yeah my first dynamics test dot mp4 youtube uploaded that is exactly what it looks like it's, it's so weird 
white moth with a chicken face. Apparently moths with faces. Very popular here on Oddly Weird, so if you find one, make sure to take a photo. This one actually looks more legit. This really just does look like a chicken on the back. See, I'm not nearly as intimidated by this one. Moth, I feel like if you're gonna, you know, pick out a design, if you're gonna pick out a cape, right? Probably pick the one that's gonna scare the predators away rather than just like that. <laughs> it's like a chicken in, in a robe. Very cool robe, dude. Anyway, I don't think it's scaring anything away. Sorry, bud. Driftwood octopus, don't know the artist. With a what the fork tag. Did this person just, they just assembled it there on the beach. Left it for the rest of the people to see. I wonder if it's even adhered together or if all the wood is just completely loose. It's a nice Easter egg to find on the beach. I wonder how long something like that would generally last before some dick decided that they just wanted to stomp all over it and kick it. Or maybe some seagulls were like, hmm, there might be food inside here. <laughs> That's really cool though. That's like the next level version of when I used to try to build stick forts at the beach when I was younger. I had some good elaborate ones, like some real solid stick forts. Kept me out of the sun while everybody else was surfing and I was just being a beachcomber. I should have kept going and graduated to this though. Big articulated fingers. Oh, they're all gonna, it's gonna be like connected joints and they're all gonna, right? It's gonna curl, it's all gonna curl. This is gonna be really cool actually. Okay, yes, I, dude, I like this. Oh, that's really cool. Oh man, it's unsettling, but I kind of want it at the same time. Oh, that'd be so cool to have with some kind of outfit. I'm sure that they're meant to be worn with gloves or something else, right? And if you just have the tips of the fingers sticking out, you cover them with something, they're kind of just a starting point. And then you add more. Oh, that's really cool. All right, we entered, we dared, and I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you'd like, check out the... I don't know if there will be a playlist. If we return here at some point in the future, maybe there will be in the description. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And, uh, oh yeah, our sponsor for the week, youtube.com slash CaptainSparkles2 for many, many hours of gameplay VODs from uh, live streams on Twitch. So feel free to check it out. Sub, if you're interested. That's it. See you next time.